8.30. We're up. And Peyton was sleeping. I was getting in here and getting dressed. And Luna came in here and woke her up. It's okay. She needed to wake up anyways. And now Sissy. Oh, careful. They're playing on the bed together. She came in and she was so excited to see Sissy, huh? So excited to see your sissy, huh? Both girls were excited to see each other. <laughs> yeah. Getting ready. Um, the mops group is having a meetup with the Lewis side mops group today. And um, so I'm going to go do that. Just like a little summer play date before the actual meetings start. Daddy. Yeah, so I am trying to get ready. This is where we just had our play date. Over there at the park. And there's the beach. It's really, really pretty. Just got home, and Luna's trying to put the socks and my shoes on Peyton right now. <laughs> While I get some lunch ready. Hey, don't don't pull her down, Luna. She wants to stand up. Let her stand up, baby. Oh, what a day it's been. I heard Luna crying. She, it's only four. She sp usually naps for another hour. And um, heard her screaming. And Peyton was on me asleep nursing. So I tried to put her in her crib. Of course, she woke up instantly. And it started screaming. And so I had to go into Luna and tend to her. And try to figure out what was going on. Of course, she's not telling me. She's screaming. And uh, so they're both screaming. <laughs> And I have to go to the bathroom, so I just have to leave them both screaming so I can go to the bathroom. And they're both screaming at the same time and crying, and now they're still trying to get over it. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they're both acting like this. What's happening? Hmm? Cranky girls. This is when I need, like, two of me. Three of me. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Well, this girl finally is happy again. She keeps going. <laughs> Are you excited about something? Bless you. Luna over there is still cranky. Daddy walked in and she got excited and she dropped her snack on the floor and she had the biggest fit. <laughs> and it didn't even spill. It just it, it landed face up. <laughs> She's still freaked out. <laughs> I love this outfit. This is a hand-me-down from Luna that she wore a lot. Huh. Yeah, I'm happy you can wear it. No. Are you being a baby right now? You're pretending to be a baby? We're having a, a teeth brushing party. Tooth brushing party. Teeth brushing? Tooth brushing. Teeth brushing? Teeth brushing. I don't know. Luna has my toothbrush. And Peyton has daddy's toothbrush. <laughs> Brush a brush a brush a brush. Brush a brush a brush a brush. Brush a brush a brush a brush. Are you getting those teeth nice and clean? This is how we brush our teeth. 
brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is how we brush our teeth each and every day. Alright, I'm gonna head to bed. I'm not editing a video tonight because Peyton will not let me go to sleep. It is midnight now and I've attempted to put her to bed multiple times and she just wakes up instantly. And Jacob's holding her now so I can actually even get ready for bed. The older she gets, the worse she's getting at this sleeping thing. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Say good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you girls. You be a, cam a camera hug. Good morning. <laughs> Last night was tough with Pei Pei. I am just getting so frustrated and I'm trying to talk, Luna. Um, she's like, well, she will not sleep without me, ever. Without being attached to me, nothing. The only time she will is in the car. That puts her to sleep, but other than that she has to be attached to me it used to be I could put her in bed um, at bedtime she would already be asleep I'd put her in her bed and she would sleep like that for what by like three hours or so and then she'd wake up and be the in the bed the rest of the night but lately she hasn't even been doing that it's instantly she won't go to sleep she wakes up the second I put her in there and um, I'll walk away for a little bit. At nighttime, I can't really do that because I don't want to wake Jacob up. But um, during nap times and stuff, I'll put out multiple times. Yesterday, I can't even tell you how many times I tried to put her in the crib. And every single time, she wakes up the second I put her in there. And I'll walk away and she screams and screams and screams. And um, I don't like to do that anyways. But, I mean, I try try a little bit but the way she's screaming it's just like she's in pain almost and I don't I don't like it so I don't know what to do just survive with no sleep I I would like to sleep by myself and have, be in an actual deep sleep and not be having to remember that there's a baby next to me and one day one day right Hey guys, I'm pretty excited. Oh, when I went to the commissary uh, a few days ago, sometime last week, I don't remember what day it was, but <clears throat> they had star fruit. I have not had star fruit in years and years and years. Um, we got it, I don't remember. Maybe my mom can clarify. I think we got it a lot in Colorado. I don't remember. But I haven't been able to find it in a really long time. And I saw it at the commentary. I was like, oh, yeah. baby. <laughs> Luna's looking at the camera and talking to herself. Even though she always sees me. Anyways, but they're expensive. It was uh, $169 my, 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 each. My, so they're pretty expensive, my, my, but I'm really excited that mommy, we get to them again. Luna is determined to use these a fork with the little yogurt melts. <laughs> You're silly. Good job, Sneak. Good, good job, baby. Good job, baby. Good job, kitty. Good job, monkey. Now is it Luna's turn? Just got home and Luna's splashing in a puddle. It rained a little bit today. You jumping in puddles? Okay, come on, let's get sissy. 
it literally takes us like um, five minutes, maybe a little bit more to get home, and she's already asleep. Right, as I said, we are back. I just got Peyton, Peyton, uh, Luna to nap, and I just wanted to say some of her stats from today. Um, she weighed 20 pounds, 10 ounces, which is in the 77th percentile. Um, she was 27.75 inches, which is in the 53rd um, percentile. And her head circumference was 45 centimeters, which is 76th percentile. So she's doing really good. Um, her percentiles went down just a little bit, like 10% each, um, from her six-month appointment, which is fine. You know, she's still a very good percentile. They will probably start to go down, they said, as she becomes more active and lose some of the baby fat. But we're doing good. She says she's perfect. <laughs> the nurse felt bad for me when I told her she was asking how she was sleeping and stuff. But it is what it is. We'll get you sleeping one day, right? One day you'll sleep, right? Oh. You gonna what are you gonna do with the camera? <laughs> and uh, the doctor said that she could see green in her eyes, which we already figured. She got some green in your eyes, like daddy, huh? Daddy's got green eyes. And I gotta go eat lunch because it is now three o'clock and I haven't eaten lunch yet. So oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Can I eat you? <laughs> the girls playing. Look at how cute Peyton looks in her little Minnie Mouse outfit with the hood on. Peyton keeps feeding her sister the little yogurt drops. I don't know if she wants it, baby. Alright, headed to bed. It's now 1 a.m. I actually got Peyton down, but she is actually crying right now. And so I got to clean the house some because it was a disaster. It's still pretty bad, but at least I got a lot of stuff done. But um, I'm going to go get her and hopefully head to bed. So, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.